All right, I gotta try this. I've been smelling this. This just looks so incredible. Look at that. You see these juices in there, that's beautiful. Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues. And today, we are gonna reverse sear Picanha on the Yoder Smokers YS640 Pellet Grill. So there's a lot of different ways that you could barbecue and a lot of different ways when it comes to different types of meat. So there are some meats where the reverse sear is a great technique to use. With a reverse sear, what you're gonna do is set your grill in between about 190 degrees and 225 degrees, depending on the meat, and let that meat take in a lot of the smoke flavor. Now the time that that can take just varies depending on the size of meat that you're cooking but it could vary anywhere from about an hour to three hours typically and then what you'll do is once that meat picks up that smoke flavor you'll crank that grill up to searing temperatures and apply a nice char to the outside of it to really finish it off so the result basically at the end gives you a nice smoked charred piece of meat that goes down awesome so the picanha cut is definitely a unique cut and it's not something that a lot of people are familiar with it's a super popular brazilian cut here i absolutely love this piece of meat when it's cooked it has the tenderness of a filet, but you have some decent fat content in there as well that gives you just so much added flavor. Really nice boost of flavor with the picanha. So I love this cut of meat. It's really nice and easy to prepare and it's delicious every single time. All right, so you'll notice on the picanha, one side is gonna have a really nice fat cap. It's a thick little fat cap right here that's gonna really render out and produce some beautiful flavors in this piece of meat. On the other side here, it's just gonna be kind of a, uh, a nice flat, flat cut, really lean on this side here. Um, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna score this fat here to help some of the seasoning really penetrate the meat and give us a boost of flavor. So we're just gonna do cross hatches and this isn't something that you're gonna wanna cut really deep into. Basically all we're doing is penetrating that top layer of fat. It allows some of that seasoning to get down through to the actual meat. The cross hatch pattern gives you a really nice texture to this too when it's all done. It's gonna be a beautiful presentation. Now there's a lot of great barbecue seasonings available, but today on this picanha, we're gonna keep it real simple. We're gonna just use some olive oil as our binder here. Just pour that on. And then we're just gonna do the old Texas style. So some uh, kosher salt and black pepper. So you wanna apply a liberal amount of this kosher salt. This is really gonna accent those beef flavors. Now we're gonna Apply some fresh cracked black pepper here. So keeping this simple is really just gonna bring out the umami of the beef. You're gonna get some great flavor. This is such a nice cut of meat. You just want the meat flavor to shine. All right, this is ready to go on. We have our Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill set to 225 degrees. We're gonna put this on the top rack for about an hour or so. And then what we're gonna do we're gonna place our temperature probe right here on the inside of the fat part of the meat. And then we're gonna be able to monitor this from our cell phones. So we'll check on this here in a little bit. The pellet we're riding with today on this picanha is gonna be a char hickory pellet. Now, I love this pellet for beef specifically because you're gonna get some of that charcoal flavor, but it's a nice hickory smoke that you get too. So it's gonna be a nice pronounced smoke flavor mixed with that charcoal. It's an awesome combination when you're smoking or grilling beef. One of the neatest features of the Yoder Smokers is that they're equipped with a fireboard controller. The fireboard controllers are one of the most sophisticated controllers on the market today, and they allow you to control the smoker from an app-enabled device using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capabilities. So we have the probe set up uh, in the Picanha right now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a reminder here, an alert that basically is gonna notify us when the temperature of the Picanha reaches 105 degrees. I think 105 degrees is gonna be a perfect temperature to pull this off and set it up for the direct grilling. That way, once we get the sear on it, it's a beautiful medium rare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna label this probe Picanha, and then we're gonna set the alert to notify us via text message and through the app that that temperature has reached that 105 degree mark and then we'll come out here and set it up for the direct grilling. All right, so I got the alert on the Fireboard app that we reached our internal temperature of 105 degrees. I wanted to ride that a little bit longer. So right now we're a little bit closer to the 110 mark. So now what we're gonna do, it's a nice temperature right now. I think it's picked up some really good smoke. So we're gonna check out how it looks right now. But I think what we're gonna do at this point is set it up for the direct grilling, get a really nice sear on it, and then cut into it. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You see that fat starting to render down? Getting some good color there. You definitely see it picked up some smoke. Yeah, let's set this thing up for direct grilling. 
All right, so we took the picanha off and now we're gonna set this up for direct grilling. So we're gonna take out our top rack and then we're gonna take these grates off. And that's gonna expose the trap door on the two-piece heat diffuser. So what we're not gonna wanna do to get some serious direct grilling is we'll take that trap door off and expose that fire pot. And then we're gonna slide our direct grilling grates right over that direct burn area. And I'm gonna crank the temperature up to 550 degrees. All right, this grill is above 550 degrees. I'm gonna sear the fat side down first on this. We'll let that caramelize for a couple minutes. So to get that signature crosshatch markings on this piece of meat, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees now. Look at that beautiful sear we're getting. We're gonna let that ride for about another minute, two minutes, and then we're gonna flip it and do the same thing on the other side. All right, we're gonna flip this over. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful, beautiful color we got on there. That looks pretty good. All right, so this meat's done here. We just took the internal temperature of it. It was about 130 degrees uh, at the fattest point on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off. It's gonna continue to cook a little bit once we take it off. Uh, but the aromatics from this are absolutely beautiful. You can get this beautiful coloring that we got on here. Some good caramelization. Look at that fat cap there. Just some beautiful flavors you can see. You see that fat just rendering from this. This is gonna be absolutely delightful. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna let this rest here for about 10, 15 minutes or so. Allow those juices to redistribute and then we're gonna cut into it. Can't wait to taste it. All right, so we've let this thing rest here for about 15 minutes now. You can see how all the juices have started to redistribute. You can see it just kind of oozing from the bottom. It's time to cut into it. Oh my God, look at the juice is just oozing from this. Get that beautiful little smoke ring around here. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at that, just beautiful. All right, I gotta try this. I've been smelling this. This just looks so incredible. Look at that. You see these juices in there, that's beautiful. Mm. Super tender. That's incredible. You definitely get the smoke that comes through, which is so nice. You get a little bit of the bark on the outside here, some of that charred flavored as well. So good. Pecan, yeah, am I right? That picanha is out of this world. So awesome. I love reverse searing it. It really took in a lot of that smoke flavor that we got from that char hickory pellet that we used. Awesome flavor profile with this. You have the smoke flavor, you have the chard at the end. All those juices just absorbed right there in the center. Super tender, super delicious. It's a great way to cook that type of meat. It's awesome that the Yoder Smokers allows you to set it up to do. So it's beautiful. I love it, I recommend it. Highly, highly recommend this piece of meat as well. Go out to your local butcher and get one. It's a fantastic cut. That picanha was delicious, and it came out really nice using the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. If you liked that video, hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining.